Hey YouTube, this is IBA, and today I'm going to be showing you guys how to set up MyBox360. Alright, I will be doing this on my iPhone 4 for Verizon, and uh, let's go ahead and get right on into it. Alright guys, so what you need to do, obviously, is get the uh, theme downloaded. It is called MyBox360, and you can get MyBox360 Elite if you have an HD device. If you have a regular device, just get the uh, normal MyBox360. You can get it from the Mod My Eye repo or from the Theme It app. Uh, if you guys know what that is, uh, I do have a video on it, and you can go ahead and check that out. So this does require a computer, uh, but I'm going to try and do this without a computer, and we're going to see how it goes. Um, if I do need to use a computer, just be something little. So I have pulled up the tutorial on my iPod Touch, and I'm just going to demonstrate on my iPhone 4. All right. So let me just show you guys what it looks like after you install it and uh, we can go ahead and start doing some instructions alright so let me just lock it here and let it kinda load it all it's gonna be all messy because I haven't done anything to it yet but there you go alright so this is it pretty messy and uh, we're gonna go ahead and fix that so right here is just the tutorial and uh, just says big thanks to all those creators I guess and then um, for the tutorial just says, you know, just go ahead and follow all the instructions. These are just some updates. And these are what you're going to need. Obviously, you're going to need Cydia and Winterboard. Uh, you're going to need uh, Gridlock. I would take that over iBlank because I, Gridlock is really much easier. You're going to need Categories. You're going to need the theme. And you're going to need iFunbox for your computer, which we may not need. Uh, I would get iFile. We're going to try and do this via iFile. You can get InfiniBoard if you want. I'll show you guys later what that looks like. And SB Settings. Alright. So those are all the requirements that you need. And the very first thing it tells you to do is go ahead and create three folders with these names right here. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. And... I guess I'm just going to search for categories because I have no idea where it's at. So here's categories, and we're just going to manage folders. We're going to go to edit, add. Alright guys, so I was actually already having some issues. Um, I would just go into Winterboard and not even worry about applying this theme until we have everything set up, and then we can go ahead and uh, when whenever you put the theme back, everything will be in order and everything. So. Uh, this will probably be the easiest way to do it, and the quickest, uh, we'll just have a plain springboard, and that's it. Uh, one thing I would kind of recommend you guys do is get uh, Backboard, and Backboard just takes a uh, backup of your springboard, and I would do that um, if you just have a normal thing like mine, so you can go back to it. I'm just going to go with Stock, and Create, and you can get that via uh, City as well, alright? So let me just kind of exit a few apps, and that should be it. So we're going to go to Categories, and we're going to go to Manage Folders. It says this app is very handy but can be very dangerous if you don't know what you're doing. Please read, and all that good stuff. So we're going to go to Edit, Add, and we're going to add Apps, A-P-P-S. Click Add, and I'm not sure, I'm sure we can do Themes later. But we'll just do um, we'll just do a regular one and obviously apps. So now we're gonna add another one for games. Add and we'll do the normal one again and games. Then we're going to add once again and we're gonna do social. And I'm pretty sure the theme has its own uh, theme for all of these right here, so we don't really need to worry about it. And this one we can just do like miscellaneous, and then that's it. Alright, if you've done that, just check out the images below to see where all the applications and folders go. So there we go, we have apps, games, and social. So let's go down to preparation. Before we start moving around icons, remember to create blank icons if you're using iBlank. Well, I'm not, I'm just using uh, Gridlock, so I can go ahead and just do it right now. So it says, so let's see what we have here. We have mail, then under that we have music or iPod. In the dock we have Calendar, Winterboard, Cydia, and Safari. For iPhone users, replace Mail by Phone and Calendar by SMS. Alright, so I'm going to go ahead and do that and I'll be right back. Alright guys, so that step is finished. 
and uh, it is going to be really helpful to have gridlock and go ahead and put the apps uh, in categories um, using the categories app and uh, it'll make it just so much quicker and it'll just be really really fast so uh, this is what it should look like on the first page for iPhone users and for iPod Touch users it'll be over here so um, just says down at the bottom to replace mail with phone and calendar with uh, SMS so I did that and then uh, second page is here game center and games third page is the app store and the apps the next one is Facebook and the social one uh, the next one is iTunes and videos but down here at the bottom it says you can replace uh, iTunes with mail and videos with maps and uh, that's what I want to do and then the next one is the camera and photos and for the last one I believe is categories and settings so uh, those are all the ones you need to have and for this next step we're going to be using uh, iFile so I'm just going to search for iFile and go ahead and open that and hopefully we can do this without having to go on our computer so here's the uh, let me go all the way back so you guys know what to do so if you go all the way to the very beginning go to var then go down here to stash and then themes and find the my box 360 theme and then uh, you're just going to go into alright here it is so you just go all the way down to the bottom once you're in the my box theme and uh, we're just going to do a text viewer and this is what you'll see inside the HTML file and uh, indeed it is with a little bit of changes so this line right here where it says car.mygamercard.net uh, we're going to change that and right here it is it says your gamer tag so a few of the uh, settings here have changed a little bit and uh, it's kinda hard to change so you go to edit and we're going to scroll down here to gamer tag and we're going to backspace until we see let me zoom in here for you guys so right here where it says gamer tag, it says your dash gamer tag. We're gonna backspace to your, and I'm just gonna put in mine. And then I believe you do do a space if you have a space in yours. All right, so that's it. And then that part is done. Now we gotta scroll down some more here. Okay, so that part's done. You can just go up here and click save. And then we're gonna move on to the next one here. It says once you have made your changes, just be sure to save it. It says okay, so now that we have put in place our widget, it is time to configure the lock screen. You will need to do exactly the same thing, so edit your lock background.html. So we're going to click done, and we're going to open up lock background.html and click edit. And we are going to find it in the HTML strings for iBox and replace it with your gamer tag so that is it so we're just gonna find uh, I guess either gamertag or ibox alright here's an ibox right here uh, it's about halfway down the page and let's see if I can find it where it was right here ibox it is on the avatar image screen so we're just gonna change that to uh, our gamertag and then that's it click done and then here's another ibox it says ibox.card going to find that again here we go and change that back to our gamer tag alright and that's it it's only those two so now we're just going to click save and done and now we can go ahead and apply the theme so you just go into winterboard which it's not going to be oh yeah it's down here at the bottom uh, and then you make sure you have summer board mode on select themes my box 360 and let it respring mm -hmm. and that is it and we'll see what happens alright so here it is you do have to have an internet connection here to uh, make sure it works and everything and uh, I'm on 3G so or actually I'm on internet but 3G will work as well and it has uh, found my gamer tag and all that good stuff and then here you go these are just what it kinda looks like 
if you just scroll through, you know, you can see you have Game Center there. And everything just seems to fit right in the boxes. Uh, miscellaneous did not change. And that was it. So let me see if I can figure out why miscellaneous didn't change. And uh, we can go ahead and edit that one. So uh, go and search for categories. And uh, we're going to edit the folder on that one. It is the miscellaneous one. Go to edit, miscellaneous, and we're going to change the icon, and we're going to change it to net. And then we're going to go back, and then you have to respring, so we're going to respring that. And uh, it should have fixed that little issue. Alright, so here we go. I'm just going to let it load up here, and it still has it on net. Uh, I'm not really sure why, but uh, if you can find a fix to that, Go ahead and you know be my guest. Let me know and comment down below, and it'll uh, I'll go ahead and get that out there so people can change that. But this is pretty much it. Just a little uh, pretty cool theme, uh, very complex, and uh, looks really really nice so far. Um, there's a lot of things that they have changed on it, like the Wi-Fi symbol is the uh, little controller symbol that spins, um, and then that's pretty much it. You know they have cool loaders, just like that. And uh, that's pretty much it, guys. So if you guys have any questions, just comment down below. Follow me on Twitter and like my Facebook fan page. Make sure to subscribe up top for more cool themes and City of Tweaks and Jailbreaks. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.